One of the problems I face when creating Python scripts to automate my life is the time it can take to build a script from scratch. Say you want to automate your downloads folder, so that every time you download a file, it automatically moves to another folder, and all the duplicates are deleted. Sounds cool, right? But then you struggle to build the script and decide that it's easier to do it manually, rather than wasting hours trying to build a script that may or may not work. Even with ChatGPT, it can take hours to generate bug free code that solves your project entirely if you don't know how to create good prompts. So in this video, we'll learn how to optimize our prompts to help ChatGPT generate better responses. With this, we'll be able to quickly solve our automation projects. So let's get started. Okay, I'm going to split this project in two parts. In the first part, we're going to build a script that classifies any file I download into that downloads folder into four folders, the images folder, PDFs, datasets, and the videos folder. So we're going to automatically classify each file we download into these four folders. And in the second part, we're going to delete the duplicate files. So that's going to be our automation project. And the goal of this video is show you how to solve this and other automation projects on your own using ChatGPT. So throughout the videos, I'm going to give you some tips to build that best prompt that helps you solve your automation projects. Okay, let's get started. As I told you before, the first part of this project is building a script that automatically classifies our files that we have here in our folder. So to do this, we're going to write a prompt. And to create the best prompt for an automation project, we have to answer a few questions. First, we have to know what's the main goal of our script. And in this case, the goal of our script is to classify a file that is in our downloads folder. And then we have to specify how we want to solve this project, adding as many details as possible. And in this case, we have to list the name of the folders and specify the extensions. Answering these questions will help ChatGPT generate better scripts, and you won't have to waste hours fixing its mistakes. And this prompt is going to be something like this. We're giving some details here, and this is a, an OK prompt. That's how I will call it. So I'm going to press enter, and I'm going to wait and see what ChatGPT does. OK, here I have the code that ChatGPT generated. And before copying and pasting, let's review quickly what the code does. So basically, we have here a classify file function. Well, this will classify the files into the four folders that we specified before. And then we have a main function. And this looks OK. But something that is missing in this script is a while loop. And we need a while loop to run this script every second or every five seconds so we can detect any new file that is downloaded here in our downloads folder. If we don't have a while loop, this is going to be impossible. So that's what our current script is missing. And before copying and pasting, we have to make sure that the script that we're going to copy and paste is working fine. And this script doesn't work as we want it. So here we can modify that prompt to get a better script. And this is my first tip to you. So my first tip is to add some keywords. So ChatGPT is, we can say smart, but it's not super smart. So you have to be very specific with the things that you write. And here, we can add some keywords to help ChatGPT understand what we want. For example, here, something that important that is missing is the words monitor the directories. So we not only want to classify the files that we have here, but besides that, something more important is that this script is supposed to monitor my downloads folder. And you monitor this folder with a while loop. So every five seconds is going to run the script and every five seconds is going to detect if there is a new file and it's going to classify that. And we can help ChatGPT understand this with the keywords monitor the directory. I'm going to add these keywords. And here, the final prompt is going to be this. Create a Python script that monitors directories and then the same. So it classifies any file I download into four folders. So basically, this is the same, but I'm adding these two keywords, monitor directories. And probably now, ChatGPT is going to generate uh, the code, but it's going to include a, a while loop. So I'm going to press Enter. 
Okay, ChatGPT just finished generating the code and now let's see if now it has the while loop. So it has uh, the classify file function, then it has more code that we're gonna check a bit later and finally it has the while loop. And with this we can make sure that the script runs every second. In this case is every one second, we can modify this every five seconds or every 10 seconds as we want. But uh, so far now the script looks good and is worth copying and pasting because we know that we're not gonna modify so much. So as I told you before, ChatGPT can make mistakes, but we have to make sure that the script we're copying and pasting at least makes some sense. So with this while loop, we're gonna uh, we're gonna check the downloads folder every X seconds. And that's exactly what we want. We want to classify and then we want to monitor every X seconds. So now let's review this code very quickly. Here we have to write the directory that is gonna be monitored. And in my case, it's gonna be the downloads folder. So I'm gonna paste my directory. And well, this is very easy. Then here, uh, ChatGPT created uh, the categories dictionary and here we have the images, PDFs, datasets and videos folder. So those are going to be folders later. Right now, those are our keys. And well, now if we uh, scroll down a little bit, we see that classify file function. So this function extracts the extension and based on the extension, it classifies the file. So it's using also the categories that we have here and is classifying using the extension of the file and the categories that it created before. And well, this is great. Here we see the rename, uh, the rename function that basically it's been used here to move the file. And well, this looks just fine. Then is uh, doing the while loop here to monitor my downloads folder. Okay, now it's time to test this out. I'm gonna add here five seconds. So it doesn't monitor every second, but every five seconds. And with this, we can test this out. And as I told you before, this is not supposed to work at the first try, but, but at least we don't start from scratch and we only need to make some little fixes. So here, apparently uh, the files, are not being classified. I'm gonna add a new file to my directory. Here I have some new files here. So if I add the new report, we see that this new report is not being is not being classified after five seconds. So something is not working here. So here uh, it's telling me that the directory it doesn't exist. So there is a problem that data sets directory doesn't exist. So as I told you before, this is not supposed to work at the first try. And what we have to do now is make some fixes. And the, the little trick I'm going to do here is add a for loop and create the folders that don't exist. And with this, we're going to create these folders, these four folders inside the downloads folder. And well, with this, we create the folders. And now let's test this out. So I'm going to run this again and see if everything's working fine. So I run this. So now it's running. And now as we can see, now we have four new folders. We have data sets, images, PDFs, and videos. And now if we move a file here, so I'm going to move, uh, for example, new underscore PDF. And this new PDF is here but in some seconds it's going to be automatically moved to the PDF folder. So here in PDF is my file new PDF. And well, we did this thanks to our script. And let's try this one more time. New image, that PNG, this should be classified into the images folder. So now we see that images has this new image file. Great. Now I can stop this script. And here also we can see which files were moved. For example, new PDF was moved to PDFs and new image was moved to the images folder. And something I noticed after running the script is that the existing files are not being classified. So the existing files in this directory are not being moved into the datasets folder or the images or the PDFs or videos folder. And if we check the explanation of ChatGPT, we see this. So it says that any existing file in the directory will not be classified. 
and we can now ask a question. We can tell ChatGPT why any existing file in the directory will not be classified. So this is going to be my question and I'm going to press enter and see what happens. Okay, ChatGPT finished generating the code and after reading this long explanation and checking the code, I verified that it only needed some lines of code. So the only difference between this code I have here and this code ChatGPT generated is these two lines of code. And these two lines of code basically classify the existing files that we have in our folder. So we only have to add it here and that's it. So I'm gonna paste it and that's pretty much it. With this, we can classify all the existing files in the directory and with this, we can monitor the new files. And that's basically what we wanted for this first part of the project. So I'm gonna run this again. And as you can see here, it automatically classify all the folders, sorry, all the files that we have here. So for example, thumbnail one was moved to the images folder. Then the report was moved to the dataset folder and my cheat sheet PDF was moved to the PDFs folder and so on. So we move all the existing files into the folders that we created. So here are the folders, the four folders, datasets with the files. Uh, images with the files also and PDFs with the files. So we successfully classify all the existing files in my downloads folder. And also if we move any new file into this download folder, for example, this new video, I'm going to move it. We're going to see that it's going to be automatically moved into any of these four folders. And we can verify that this script is working just fine. So I'm going to stop this. And with this, we have the first part of the project completed. Okay, for the second part of the project, we're going to create a script that deletes any duplicate file. And for example, here we have some duplicate files. We have thumbnail, thumbnail one, thumbnail two, and well, we can delete these thumbnails manually. But if we have uh, hundreds of duplicate files or tens of duplicate files, this is going to be a bit time consuming. And we can simplify all of this with a single click if we build the script that automates all of this. And to create this script with ChatGPT, we're going to use the following prompt. So I'm going to paste a prompt and is the following. Create a Python script that deletes duplicate files. And here we said the duplicate file have the same name as the original file plus a number within parentheses. So as you can see here, the duplicate files have the same name as the original file, but also has the number one and two inside parentheses. So if we have more duplicate files, it'll be something like three, four, five, six within parentheses. So this is what I'm saying here. And this is also my second tip. You have to add as many details as possible to make ChatGPT understand what you want to achieve. And here we continue with a prompt saying, for example, if I have two files, report 2022 and report 2022 and with the number one in parentheses, the file report 2022 with the number one will be the duplicate file. And what I'm doing here is providing an example with the solution I'm expecting. And this is my third tip. You have to add an example and also specify what is the solution that you're expecting. And this is very important because you're giving ChatGPT more information on how to build this script. So now I'm going to press enter and wait to see what ChatGPT is going to do. Okay, ChatGPT finished generating the code and here is basically using the OS and the RE modules and it's telling me that I have to replace this directory with my own directory. Well, the script seems very straightforward, so I'm going to copy and paste it here because it seems that it does the job. Well, we can verify this by running the code. So I'm going to paste it here and now what we have to do is modify the directory. So here we have this directory and I'm not going to use this directory. And for this test, I'm going to use the images folder. So I'm going to delete all the duplicate files that are inside the images folder. So we should get only one file with the name thumbnail. So here I'm going to change the path and now I'm going to run this and see what happens. So I run this and now we see that only we have the thumbnail that PNG files and we could verify that this script is working just fine. So it deletes all the duplicate files that we have in our folder. So I'm going to test this out with another 
uh, another folder. So in this case, the dataset folder to see if everything is working fine. So here I'm going to write datasets. And here we see that we have report one, two, and three. And well, these three reports should be deleted. So I'm going to run this. And as we can see here, it worked just fine. And something important that I want you to understand here is that we could achieve all of this because we built the right prompt. Here, if we only uh, if we only wrote something like this, create a Python script that deletes duplicate files, ChatGPT probably would have not generated this script that we can see here that works just fine. Probably ChatGPT would have created any other script that needed some tweaks. So the details and the examples are very important to help ChatGPT generate the best script that gets the job done. In case you need some inspiration to start your own automation project, I'm going to leave two videos where I show how to automate some tasks. In one, I show how to automate Microsoft Excel. And in the other, I show how to automate some boring tasks, such as sending emails, sending messages on WhatsApp and web scraping.